Hi, uh, here I am with a video on fractional excretion of sodium. And if you ask me why this topic, uh, it's because I've always observed medical students uh, taking five or ten steps back whenever they are challenged with a mathematical formula or a calculation or an index. And uh, you know what? Uh, such fears and apprehensions are uh, not necessary because all these formulae in medical field are based on very simple logics. So if you try to understand those logics, understanding the basis of the formula would be very easy, in which case application and interpretation of those formulae would be a cakewalk. So this is my claim and to prove this claim, I've taken up this topic fractional excretion of sodium. Uh, for those of you who have just visited my YouTube channel, this is Dr. Shanmuga Priya, Professor and Head of the Department of Biochemistry at Government Tutukudi Medical College. I'm also the faculty of Biochemistry Speed Learning app. I've released this app in the name Basics to Clinics. It's because I've named it so uh, because I want all medical students to understand the fact that biochemistry is not all about flowcharts and cycles. Yeah, there is so much beyond flowcharts and cycles as far as biochemistry is concerned. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the other side of biochemistry, you can subscribe to my app. I've uh, attached the link to my app in the description box below. Now let's get on to fractional excretion of sodium. And I'll begin this session with a definition, with an introduction to the definition of fractional excretion of sodium. Fractional excretion of sodium is defined as the fraction of sodium that is filtered along the glomeruli, which is excreted in urine. And this is expressed as a percentage. Let me repeat this. Fractional excretion of sodium is defined as the fraction of the sodium that is filtered along the glomeruli, which is finally excreted in urine, which is expressed as a percentage. So what does it mean when I say fractional excretion of sodium is less than one percentage? If I say that, I mean to say out of the sodium that is filtered along the glomeruli, very less percentage is getting excreted in the urine which means most of what has been filtered along the glomeruli is getting reabsorbed in the renal tubules. So if you say reabsorption is high, you mean to say the tubular function is normal. Do you understand this? You mean to say the tubular function is normal. So have this in mind. If fractional excretion of sodium is less, the inference is tubular function is normal. So what does it mean when you say fractional excretion of sodium is more than 3 percentage? You mean to say most of what is being filtered is getting excreted in urine, which means reabsorption along renal tubules is minimal, which means tubular function is affected. That is the interpretation of definition of fractional excretion of sodium. So what is the significance of fractional excretion of sodium? The significance is that it helps you in differentiating two clinical conditions. One is pre-renal form. It helps in differentiating pre-renal form of acute kidney injury from acute tubular necrosis. So if you're asking why should we represent or why should we differentiate the two conditions, it is because both represent different stages of renal ischemia. Yeah, for any reason, if there is renal hypoperfusion, initially it presents as a pre-renal form of acute kidney injury, then it progresses to acute tubular necrosis. So what is pre-renal form of acute kidney injury? It is a term that is used to define a condition wherein there is an increase in the blood urea nitrogen or creatinine or both caused by renal hypoperfusion. Do you understand this? Pre-renal form of acute kidney injury is a condition that is used to define a state wherein there is an elevation of blood urea nitrogen or creatinine or both caused by renal hypoperfusion. Because what happens whenever there is renal hypoperfusion? There is a reduction in the <clears throat> hydrostatic pressure in the glomerular capillaries. 
you know that right there is a reduction in the hydrostatic pressure in the glomerular capillaries and that reduces gfr and that causes an elevation of urea and creatinine this means it is reversible this stage is reversible because by any mechanism if you can increase the renal perfusion you are going to increase the hydrostatic pressure in the glomerular capillaries gfr will be increased and that form of acute kidney injury is reversible but what happens when this hyperperfusion progresses for some time prolongs for some time prolonged renal ischemia is going to cause tubular damage and once tubular damage has happened it's like intrinsic renal failure right that's called as acute tubular necrosis so suppose a patient comes to you with a history of blood loss yeah say a uh, motor vehicle accident following which the person has sustained severe injuries and renal and blood loss and then the person complains of a reduction in the urinary output and you also find that the urea and creatinine are getting elevated slowly in that case you should be able to tell the patient whether the patient is still in a reversible stage of acute kidney injury or the patient has progressed to a possibly an irreversible form of acute kidney injury and for that we are going to use fractional excretion of sodium how do we use it if it's just a pre renal form of acute kidney injury wherein there is renal hypoperfusion tell me what happens to jg apparatus <clears throat> whenever there is renal hypoperfusion the afferent arteriolar pressure decreases right afferent arteriolar pressure decreases this stimulates jg cells jg cells release renin renin produces angiotensin 2 that causes aldosterone secretion and we know aldosterone increases sodium and water reabsorption when sodium and water reabsorption are increased what happens to fractional excretion of sodium sodium is getting reabsorbed more and more which means fractional excretion of sodium will be less than 1 percentage until it is just a pre renal form of acute kidney injury there is what would happen if it has progressed to acute tubular necrosis once it has progressed to acute tubular necrosis tubules are damaged which means uh, there is no reabsorption so most of what is being filtered will be excreted so if it has progressed to acute tubular necrosis fractional excretion of sodium will be more than 3 percentage do you understand this so this is the significance of this index which is fractional excretion of sodium now comes the difficult part which is calculation we know the definition we know the significance but we need to know how to calculate it okay so first i'll tell you the formula for fractional excretion of sodium then i'll tell you or help you in understanding how this formula has been arrived at okay so the formula is fractional excretion of sodium is equal to urinary sodium into plasma creatinine divided by plasma sodium into urine creatinine which is expressed as a percentage i understand that this formula looks and sounds complicated but if i tell you the basis of this formula you'll be able to memorize it easily okay so the basis is the definition what is fractional excretion of sodium i said i said it is nothing but the fraction of amount of sodium that is filtered along the glomeruli <clears throat> yeah filtered along the glomeruli per minute which is excreted so sodium which is excreted in urine per minute this has to be expressed as a percentage first i am going to tell you how do we calculate sodium that is excreted per minute okay sodium excreted per minute can be calculated using two values one value is you need to know what is the urinary sodium concentration suppose urinary sodium concentration is una milli equivalents per liter okay and you know that the urinary flow rate yeah urinary flow rate is ufr liters per minute yeah so the concentration term tells you 
if one liter of urine is given out u will be excreted in urine so for this flow rate how much of sodium will be excreted in urine if one liter is the output u sodium gets excreted for the given urinary flow rate the amount of sodium that is excreted per minute would be u sodium into urinary flow rate okay so we know the numerator so what is the numerator numerator here is urinary sodium concentration into urinary flow rate but we have to know the denominator so how are we going to calculate the denominator <coughs> so what is the denominator denominator is sodium that is filtered per minute and for calculating sodium that is filtered per minute you need to know what is the concentration of sodium in plasma suppose concentration of sodium in plasma is p sodium milli equivalents per liter and you know gfr is the liter of plasma that is filtered per minute don't we know this gfr is glomerular filtration rate which is nothing but the liter of plasma that is getting filtered per minute so what is the sodium filtered per minute this concentration term tells you if 1 liter of plasma is filtered you are going to filter p sodium so if gfr is filtered it is equal to p into gfr okay so p sodium into gfr so tell me for now what is the formula fractional excretion of sodium is equal to urine sodium into urinary flow rate by plasma sodium into glomerular filtration rate into 100 okay now how do you calculate glomerular filtration rate because if i go to the next slide you won't have a continuity i am erasing it and i am showing it in the same slide okay so try to follow this how do you calculate glomerular filtration rate we know it is calculated as uv by p okay if you are using creatinine as the endogenous substance to calculate gfr it becomes urinary creatinine into urinary flow rate yeah urinary creatinine into urinary flow rate divided by plasma creatinine so i'm going to substitute the formula for gfr in this formula so fractional excretion of sodium is equal to urinary sodium into urinary flow rate by plasma sodium into instead of gfr i'm going to substitute it as urinary creatinine into urinary flow rate by plasma creatinine okay so when you rearrange it fractional excretion of sodium is equal to urinary sodium into urinary flow rate into plasma creatinine divided by plasma sodium into urinary creatinine into urinary flow rate so urinary flow rate get cancelled so what is the formula fractional excretion of sodium is equal to urinary sodium into plasma creatinine by plasma sodium into urinary creatinine into 100 and this is the formula which i told you first do you see that here both are same so this is all you need to know to understand why this formula so what is fractional excretion of sodium definition of fractional excretion of sodium is it is the fraction of sodium that is filtered along the glomeruli which is excreted in urine and the fractional excretion of sodium is less it means excre excretion is less or in other words reabsorption is better if reabsorption is better it means tubules are still working fine which means it's in a reversible stage which means it's a form of pre renal form of acute kidney injury whereas if fractional excretion of sodium is more than 3 percentage it means most of what is being filtered is getting excreted which means tubules are no more functioning properly which means it has reached a stage of acute tubular necrosis and how is it calculated it is calculated using the formula urinary sodium into plasma creatinine by 
plasma sodium into urine creatinine into 100 and I've told you the basis of this formula the reason behind this formula is this okay so that's all about calculation now about interpretation I've already told you the interpretation what did I tell you fractional excretion of sodium if it's less than one percentage it is pre renal form of acute kidney injury and if it's more than three percentage it means it has progressed to acute tubular necrosis if it's between one and three percentage it can be one of the two so this is where you won't be able to completely discern whether it is still a pre-renal form of acute kidney injury or has it progressed to acute tubular necrosis in which case what we do is we check for response to crystalloid infusion yeah you can uh, start any infusion which increases the intravascular volume following which if you see that the kidneys function are returning to normal it can be a diagnostic and a therapeutic measure yeah, if it returns back to normal it means the pre-renal form of acute kidney injury so not just this this is not the only limitation of using this formula when the value is between one and three percentage there are many other conditions when this formula can confuse you what if the person is on diuretic yeah if the person is on diuretic fractional excretion of sodium will be more yeah in which case even when the person is still in pre-renal form of acute kidney injury it might look as if tubules have lost their function so if the person is on diuretic no point in using the formula what if the person has got already a basic renal dysfunction yeah say a person is already suffering from acute glomerulonephritis if the person is already suffering from acute glomerulonephritis the amount of sodium that is filtered along the glomeruli will be more so in this formula for fractional excretion of sodium the denominator is more when the denominator is more the value will be less so even after the person has progressed to acute tubular necrosis sometimes it might look as if it's low so please remember you can use this interpretation of fractional excretion of sodium being less than one or more than three percentage only when you know for sure that the person is not on diuretic only when you know that the person has got normal basal renal function right otherwise no point in using this formula okay so this is about interpretation so to summarize fractional excretion of sodium is an index that is used to differentiate two stages of renal ischemia one is pre-renal form of acute kidney injury the other one is acute tubular necrosis if fractional excretion of sodium is less than one percentage it is pre-renal form if it's more than three percentage it's acute tubular necrosis if it's between these two values you can't uh, discern whether it is one or two okay and there are many other conditions where an interpretation can be confusing for example a person on diuretic will have higher fractional excretion of sodium even when tubules are working properly and if the person has a basal renal dysfunction again fractional excretion of sodium can be low even when the person has progressed to acute tubular necrosis and the formula for fractional excretion of sodium is urinary sodium into plasma creatinine by plasma sodium into urine creatinine expressed as a percentage. Okay. Thank you.